Hello, my friends, and welcome to the breakdown. Oh, 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 oh. I tried to do a ho ho ho, didn't work. Welcome to the breakdown for this Friday, December 25th, 2020. Guys, it's uh, Christmas, so Merry Christmas if that's what you celebrate. Happy Yule, um, Happy Hanukkah, festive solstice, I don't know, whatever you celebrate. Hope you have a great holiday season, guys. Lots to celebrate this week, because we've got three new titles opening up on the big screen, the first of which is Wonder Woman 1984, a film that I've been excited about for quite some time. After the events of Wonder Woman, we are now fast-forwarding to the 1980s, where Wonder Woman faces a new challenge and two new villains, Max Lord and the Cheetah. Now, this film stars, of course, the incomparable Gal Gadot, as well as Chris Pine, uh, Kristen Wiig as Barbara Minerva, that is, the Cheetah. Pedro Pascal hot off his run on Mando, The Mandalorian, and uh, Robin Wright also reprising her role as Antiope, I think is her name. Guys, this is a movie that needs to be seen. But this is also a movie that needs to be seen on the big screen, and you will have the opportunity to do so to B&B Theaters, because it's playing, well, it'll be playing on a lot of screens in just about every format we got. Screen X, Grand Screen, MX4D, the Lyric Screenplay, Traditional Auditoriums, you name it, we got it. Tickets on sale right now at bbtheaters.com. Let me list some reasons why I'm excited about this film. <gasps> Score by Hans Zimmer. First live action appearance of the Cheetah. The gold armor Wonder Woman wears in this film is based off the gold armor she wears in the Alex Ross comic book, Kingdom Come, which I love. This is the ninth film in the DC Extended Universe. Rumor has it Linda Carter has a post credits cameo. And my favorite, the symbol of Nuclear Man from Superman 4, A Quest for Peace, can be seen on the floor of the mall in this trailer. This movie's gonna be awesome! Okay, the second title opening up this Christmas day is called News of the World. It's about a Civil War veteran who must transport a young girl, more or less against her will, across the country to go live with her aunt and uncle. Along the way, they face all manner of hardships and challenges. This one stars, honestly, everybody's man, Tom Hanks and Elizabeth Marvel. Now, this is Tom Hanks' first Western, but certainly not the first time he's played a cowboy. Am I right? Hopefully he can keep the snakes out of his boots. Hopefully nobody's poisoned the water hole. Toy Story. Okay, the third title opening up on Christmas Day is called Promising Young Woman. Pretty excited about this one. It is a, a dramedy. I'm curious how they're gonna work it all together because it's about a young woman who is uh, traumatized by events in her past and now is seeking vengeance against those that cross her path. This one stars Carrie Mulligan, Adam Brody, and Bo Burnham. And uh, the title actually comes from Brock Turner, you might recall as a Stanford University student who in 2016 was convicted of sexual assault, and yet the judge still referred to him as a promising young man. All right, my friends, that's it for us this week. Tickets and showtimes available, of course. You already know this. Online at bbtheaters.com. Oh, and thank you. To those of you who supported the Save Your Cinema initiative that has been circulating online for, well, months now, uh, many of you, Thousands of you reached out uh, to express your support and appreciation for local cinemas and your voices were heard. As we speak right now, there is a bill on the president's desk, which hopefully he'll have signed by the time you see this, which will provide relief to the cinema industry and frankly, a lot of other COVID related relief to the country. Uh, beyond that, it will keep me employed and Nick employed for the foreseeable future. So Merry Christmas to us. And Merry Christmas, of course, to you. Happy holidays, whatever you celebrate. Have a good time, my friends. Thanks for watching The Breakdown. See you next year.